So if you've been into cassettes, you've likely heard of Dolby noise reduction. And you may not imagine Dolby being on a cassette. Normally you'd think of Dolby as the um, high-end uh, theater, home theater audio or some other, or like Dolby Atmos, you know. Um, but Dolby originated in the tape business. Originally, they made Dolby A noise reduction, which was used in studios and it drastically improved tape noise, or rather it reduced it by quite a lot. And in the 60s, that's when they made it. And then they soon they invented Dolby B. And Dolby B is basically Dolby A but simplified and placed on simpler machines like cassette decks for the home. And then in 1980, they made Dolby C, which is essentially um, double Dolby B. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the most early Dolby C circuits had two Dolby B chips. It's just that one of them was used on a different area in terms of the frequency range. And the last iteration of Dolby noise reduction on a cassette is Dolby S, which was in the 90s. And that that was essentially the best type of, of noise reduction. You know, it sounded like a CD almost. And it was rivaled only by DBX, which was a very high-end type of noise reduction and it was never as common as Dolby. So how does Dolby work? Well, here on my Sony TCK55, you can see that it only says Dolby System, so how do I know if it's B or C? Well, originally there was no Dolby C or Dolby S, so there's only Dolby B for the home, and because of that, it was only referred to as the Dolby System for the home. And, and so, if you see cassettes or cassette decks that say Dolby System, that's Dolby B. Now, if you have a cassette with Dolby B, and then when you play it back, the deck or the Dolby chip reduces that high frequency so that the sound still sounds normal, but the high frequency hiss is lessened. Dolby C does a similar thing, it keeps the high frequency part and it does the same thing with the low frequency. And Dolby S is much more complex so I won't really go into that, but that's a basic description of Dolby B and Dolby C. And on most decks, Dolby noise reduction was combined with the MPX filter. Now, the MPX or the multiplex filter is something that takes away the, if I remember correctly, it's the 15 kilohertz frequency which plays with um, FM radio. And so, um, MPX filter, it takes that off when recording so you don't hear that, that frequency that's consistently, uh, that's constantly, you know, making a sound. So, that's... That's why most Dolby, um, Dolby machines have an option for Dolby noise reduction off, on with the filter on, and on with the filter off. So there you go. So that's pretty much it actually about Dolby noise reduction. That's just a quick, um, completely unscripted overview just off the top of my head. So yeah, there you go. And now we're going to test some cassettes using Dolby noise reduction. So what I'll do is I'm going to use a a noisy cassette, a rather noisy cassette, and then I'm going to be using it with Dolby noise reduction so you can hear the difference, okay? So yeah, let's get into the audio test. So, welcome to the recording section of this video the one with the audio test, and here we'll be using a 1979 
TDKDC90. Now, the interesting thing about this is that since it's a pretty um pretty early cassette, frankly a pretty primitive cassette, um, this deck actually uses low bias on this one and not medium bias like what I usually use for let's say TDK ARs or or Sony HFESs. You know, this is a pretty old cassette for the time, and um. Yeah, it used a more primitive um, type of biasing. That's why it's on low bias right now. But um, that doesn't matter as long as it sounds good. And I am telling you that it does. Um, like the tape itself, of course. Now, um, I'm going to be recording this track from the YouTube audio library called Disco Nights by Quincus Moreira. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but it's called Disco Nights. And it's night with a K, so like the one in chess. Um, so I'm going to be recording it in succession. So I'm going to be recording it twice. The first time is without noise reduction, and the other one is with Dolby B noise reduction. Okay, Dolby B. I don't have any decks at the moment that have Dolby C or S or um, or digital noise reduction or high com or dbx at the moment i only have dolby b and anrs but the anrs on my uh, on my victor deck is not so good so basically in terms of fully working things i only have dolby b anyway yeah so now let's record those two recordings and um i'll be editing together the video so that you know you can see the direct comparison between the source and the tape so yeah let's go
Well, didn't that sound really good? Um, yeah, um, I should mention that there was a little bit of wow and flutter on the, um, on the recording. I sincerely apologize for that. Um, I, I suppose I haven't maintained my tape transport very well in the, in the recent days. Hold on, I'll switch to my task cam. Yeah, um, it seems I, I haven't um, cleaned it in a while, so um, apologies for that. But um, that's not our main focus right now. Our main focus is not in the quality of the cassette. Um, it's in the quality of the noise. And if you may have noticed, if you, if you noticed in the, in the recording, with Dolby Noise Reduction, the noise did indeed get reduced. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the audio test. Yeah. So, yeah, Dolby Noise Reduction. Isn't it such a wonderful thing? Um, yeah, um, if you've heard it, yeah, if you listen to the audio test, it did remove quite a lot of the noise and it made the noise um, yeah, less and it made the whole listening thing um, much easier to listen to really. Um, once again, please don't mind the wow and flutter on the machine. I just have to clean the pin controller. Um, I, I just did that before filming this, uh, this segment. Um, so yeah, no more future problems. Uh, anyway, um, that's about it, yeah, Dolby Noise Reduction, very nice, and if you're wondering what this is, where this is on, because I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but this is actually my very first cassette deck. Um, if I zoom out the camera right now and move it, this right here is an absolute beast. It's the Sony TC-K5, and... Um, it looks great, it used to sound great as well, but um, I fiddled with it a little bit too much, and so, um, yeah, it, it developed a few problems, uh, and the one that really put me on the e off the edge, the one that really made me give up on this machine, is its insane amount of wow and flutter. Um, it was doing perfectly fine at the time, like in terms of wow and flutter. Um, there were a few problems such as um, the torque being really bad, like if I pressed play it would start off extremely slowly and then move up to the right speed. Um, also the auto stop was not was no longer working, um, but and the uh, other things as well, but other than that but like during that time I was perfectly fine with it with um with those problems uh because at least you know it could play and whatnot and then one one day I suddenly um I I played a tape which uh, it got chewed up um by another machine by my Walkman so I spliced the tape together with some scotch tape then when I played it um, all of a sudden, it developed some serious, serious wow and flutter. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just did the same thing for every for every cassette after that. So it's really unfortunate. I looked inside, I looked inside the, uh, the deck, and it looked, honestly, it looked perfectly fine. But, so, so I really don't know what to do about that. Um, I really had no idea. So I just, uh, stashed it in the drawer um and then I, uh, I i looked for a new deck um you may have seen the sony tcu4 um i was thinking about that but it had a lot of problems and so um i had to return it and then i ended up with my victor kda66 which still works very well but the speed is off and the uh, the best system or the bias EQ um, sensitivity uh, tuning system 
um, it just stopped. It, it 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 was just not working from day one. But I got it for a good price, and um, you know when I saw the Sony TCK fifty five on Yahoo auctions, I just thought, yeah, that that was pretty good. You know, because it was um, pretty cheap for a service deck, and it sounds pretty great. Also, you know, honestly. Um, yeah, uh, sorry about this, K55. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use you again. But hey, that is completely off topic. Maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. I don't know, I have no idea. Um, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video on Dolby Noise Reduction. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to take a look at some of my other content, go up here for more cassette reviews. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a very good um, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, whatever time it is. And uh, I, I hope to see you in the next videos. So yeah, goodbye.